Hello friends, my name is Art Thomas I'm with the Fit Ministry and I just wanted to bring you a brief video today. I was uh, doing my daily devotions and uh, reading a portion of scripture in 1 Chronicles and I'd like to read that to you and then tell you just a little story if, if you don't mind. Uh, in 1 Chronicles chapter 16 and verse starting in verse number 8, the Bible says, Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, Make his deeds known among the people. Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. And another portion of scripture came to my mind in Mark chapter 8. Uh, I'm sorry, Mark chapter 5 rather. And beginning in verse number 19. This is the portion of scripture where we find the story of the maniac of Gadara where Jesus came across the sea and he met a, a man that was possessed with a legion of devils and Jesus healed him and, uh, and left the man sitting clothed and in his right mind and he asked Jesus if he could go with him uh, when he was beginning to depart and we pick up the story in verse number 19 where it says, Howbeit Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee and hath had compassion on thee. And those two verses stuck out in my mind today as I was reading my Bible this morning and I wanted to bring you just a brief story and testify unto you how good God has been unto me. I was praying this morning and just thanking God for his goodness, thanking him for where he's brought me from and you'll see a, a picture of a house behind me and this is the actual house that I lived in when I was 17 years old. And uh, that's significant because when I was 17 years old, I got saved. I was hopelessly addicted to drugs and alcohol and uh, just sins of various kinds. And God reached down from heaven and he touched my soul. As a matter of fact, in the window that you see directly behind me, this was my bedroom. And this is exactly where I was when I realized that I was a sinner, that I would kicked God in the teeth my entire life. And I knew I was going to die and go to hell if something did not change. And I remembered at that time what my mom told me when I was a little boy about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died on a cross for my sins. And if I asked him to come into my heart and save me, then he would take me to heaven with him and I would not have to go to hell. When I was 17 years old, about 22 years ago now, I was sitting right behind these walls in this room right here. And I remember realizing I was a sinner, realizing I was going to die and go to hell, but also realizing that God loved me so much that Jesus Christ died for me. And I put my faith and my trust in Jesus Christ that night in 1995. I remember the bed just beyond the window here, laying upon that bed and looking up to the ceiling and crying out and calling upon the Lord Jesus Christ. I woke up the next morning. And I remember, I remember thinking about what happened the night before. I remember getting the drawers, uh, opening the dresser drawers of my, my dresser, getting ready for the day. And I remember thinking this to myself. Whatever happened last night was real because I still feel the presence of Jesus in my life. And you know what? Every day since that day, there has not a day gone by where I have not thought of Jesus Christ. And what he's done for me. And I just want to encourage you today. If you're lost. If you don't know for sure. If you died today and go to heaven. I want to share with you how good God is. And how much he loves you. And how much he wants to have a relationship with you. The Bible says for God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him. Should not perish but have everlasting life. Man has a, a horrible problem. And that problem is sin. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God loves us so much. He proved it. The Bible says, but God commendeth his love toward us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I did nothing to deserve God's goodness. I did nothing to deserve God's love. But he loved me anyways. And he saved my poor soul. And he's given me a home in heaven. He's given me an inheritance with the Lord Jesus Christ. And I just want to tell you today how thankful I am for Jesus. I want to tell you how good he is. 
I want to sing praises unto Him. And I want to encourage you today. Maybe you're watching this video and uh, you've lost hope. Maybe you're uh, in a midst of circumstances that are uh, just beyond hope in your point of view. And I just want to encourage you today that God loves you. He still cares for you. And the Bible says this, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works among the children of men. God loves you. He wants to save you. He wants to give you a home in heaven. No matter who you are, where you've been, what you've done, God wants a relationship with you so much, more than you can even believe. Would you just bow now and close your eyes and, 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 and confess to the Lord Jesus that you're a sinner. Confess to the Lord Jesus that you need Him to save you from your sins. And call upon the name of the Lord. As the Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I did that about 22 years ago, right behind me here in this house, right beyond this window. I asked Jesus to save me, and my life has never been the same. I just want to encourage you. God loves you, friend, and we'll see you in the next video.